Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Trading with Emotions. I haven't done a video in a while, so I figured I would just kind of go over everything that has happened. I guess to start things off, we will go over the scenario here, so I'm gonna pull it up on the screen. The scenario was a uh, $28 level here by the 29th, right? And we got it. And we actually got a little bit more here. Now, the reason why I didn't call this a, a squeeze scenario was because I knew that there was that major regression trend resistance line, right? And that was something that, that we had talked about on the stream that, you know, if we did hit that level, that we would get, have a small pullback, right? And this is where I come to this, this point here that we're going to cover today, which is the projector pattern, right? Because Projector pattern, as you know, happens before every run-up, and it's something that basically uh, gives you a second chance to get in. We know that the projector pattern succeeds or fails to stop the volume from coming in, right? So when it stops the volume from coming in, you'll get something like this, the cycle. It'll, have, it'll be a short attack. I'll take that as an opportunity to delay the squeeze, delay another leg up, and then make more money along the way, right? Because these guys are the, are the ones that are lending out the shares to the shorts, and they want to make as much money as they can. They don't have the, Their agenda is as long as we can stall the play, keep on lending out the shares, and keep the momentum, you know, very just stagnant, steady, then we can do that for as long as we want. The setup that I have right here is just showing you how how large these projectors have been in the past. I know a lot of people are comparing the January run-up and the June run-up. Um, I happen to believe that we're doing, you know, our own run-up. We have our April run-up here, and, and the projector pattern is going to look in its unique form. Now, the structure of the projector pattern is going to look similar, right? Like, they all have that same arc pattern, right, before running up. We know that. For this scenario that I have here that I posted um, last week, I talked about how end of April was was a point of interest with the cycle, which is the way the cycle aligns. See how this scenario here is coming very close to the projector, right? It's it's there for a reason, man. The cycle is is meant to be tracking something, obviously something cyclical that's happening every 62 days. But when you look at it and you start, you know, copy pasting these over and over again, at some point you're gonna have these dates start to roll over. What I mean by this is Right here, right, we started the 13th of May. That's the middle of the month. Right here, we were at the 15th. Yeah, it was for a good bit. 15th, 15th, and 15th. Right here, three cycles where it was in the middle of the month. And then we started going as, as you know, cycles continue. We started to go to the 18th, right? And then the 21st, okay? So you're starting to see that as cycles happen, you know, you get your dates shifting over a tad bit, a couple days, three days, whatever. So this is important because if it does not align with their agenda, with what they have to do, you know, from a psychological perspective, which is minimize the amount of people going in on the play, then they're really going to fuck shit up. So the fact that this scenario here is lining up with the blue pattern has me thinking that this is where you're going to get a cycle shift, a macro cycle shift. If we have another leg up, this thing is going to look a lot bigger. So it's going to look probably twice or three times bigger because we're reaching new heights, right? Uh, hence this fucking projector pattern that looks twice twice the size of, you know, what happened in June. Now, dude, this goes hand in hand with FIV levels. It goes hand in hand with a lot of other things uh, that are pointing for the cycle to look this way, right? And that's okay, man. In the end, what you want is... You want, right now, we're getting a breather. We did get a major rejection, and then we're just breathing it out. Um, I personally do not think that next week is going to be like the squeeze or anything. Um, just based off of what we got going on here, I believe that we are going to, again, make this macro projector, okay? And it's just going to be a little bit of sideways trading until about the end of the month here in April. And that is where, again, you come near the blue pattern, you start to set up for this run-up. So I think probably around the end of the month, man, you guys are going to see a leg up. And then at that point, I will talk about, you know, the actual squeeze or the actual leg up, depending on how the setup looks. Because so I think that's going to be very important. Um, but yeah, man, just wanted to go ahead and talk about this. I know I had not make a video here for a little while, so I figured, you know, just kind of go over what's happening. You know, dude, 
shit is going down. Shit's crazy right now. So let's keep an eye on this, and and I'll see you guys on live stream later tonight because I'm going to be live streaming tonight, and I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow. So if I don't catch you tonight, I'll see you tomorrow, and you guys have a dope rest of your day. Fucking love you. Bye-bye. Trade.